If you change a polygon's shape or parameters, it will have to be updated, also known as reporting. And if you change the clearance rules or the style of a polygon, you will also need to perform a repour. If you change the shape of a polygon, it will be rebuilt automatically if this option is enabled. Preferences, PCB Editor, General, Report Polygons After Modification. When editing the properties of the polygon through the Properties panel, for example, choosing to remove dead copper, the Report button appears, which will report the polygon. You may run into a situation where you have to change a clearance after the polygons have been placed. If this is the case, go to Design Rules and change the clearance of the polygon to the track by 0.5 mm. Doing this will probably create other violations. If this is the case, you can limit the report to only polygons with violations by going to the menu and selecting Tools, Polygon Pours, Report Violating Polygons. The Report All and Report Selected commands are in the same menu right next to it. All polygons have a specific pour order, which by default coincides with the order in which the polygons were created on the board. You can prevent a large polygon from enveloping a smaller one by changing the pour order. We can fix this by making sure the small polygon is poured first. To do this, select it and in the Properties panel click the Bring to Front button. This action puts the selected polygon at the top of the pour order. The reverse action can be done using the Send Back button, which puts the polygon in the last place in the pour order. Let's undo this and put it back at the top of the pour order. You can see the pour order in more detail by using the Tools, Polygon Pours, Polygon Manager menu. In the Pour Order column, you can view and adjust the pour order of all polygons. There might be a situation where a change needs to be made to the board. If this happens, you can temporarily disable polygons and keep them out of the way by shelving them. If you have a polygon selected, you can click the Shelve button in the Properties panel. Polygon visibility is disabled and we can make changes in the space previously occupied by the polygon. Once editing is complete, shelved polygons can be turned back on using the Tools, Polygon Pours, Restore command. So now we know how to update and work around polygons. Thanks for watching. Next up, let's learn how to edit polygons.